Hey guys, Silence Dio here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. This time round, we are here to finally pull Milane's episode plate. Hopefully, of course, with some maybe a bit of Christmas luck. And of course, with Guvava's permission, we are able to attain Milane's episode plate. But let's break down ep the episode plate first and decide do you actually want to spend more? than the 300 singing stones that you're about to use on the discounted first pool. Alright, so just like Basara's, Milane's Blade comes with a 3600 range total score. Not the best for a top tiering plate, but pretty decent stats. But that doesn't just make how good of a plate this will be. We have to check out the skills of course. So just like Basara, it focuses on soul. Make sure you pay attention to who is equipable with this episode plate other than Milane. So center skill, soul up, and A rank. So with this, you know that Milane's plate is not meant to be used as a center position, uh, unlike Basara. So just like how they are in Fire Bomber, Basara is the lead, and of course Milane is the backup or the base player. So yeah, let's move on. Active skill, for 20 seconds, you will have an easier time tapping notes. So pretty decent active skill for uh, for practicing purposes. And of course, maybe, you know, maybe you prefer Milane to be a center instead of Basara because you're having a hard time um, getting that full combo for the current event song. And yeah, Milane might be there for you to practice you know, getting that full combo uh, and of course clearing those event missions that actually require you to full combo a particular difficulty. Alright, so here we are with the most important thing for a support episode plate, which is Milane's episode plate, the life skill, combo bonus. So it's pretty much the same as Basara's active skill, just that this one activates on its own. So yeah, during the Cho Utahime mode, for 10 seconds, for each 50 combo you attain, you gain a 35% boost in score. So of course, this active skill alone is definitely better than Basara's because this one boosts by 35% instead of 20% which is what the active skill has. But for the active skill, you can activate the skill whenever you want to. Unlike this one, it only activates during the Cho Utahime mode. So basically after your Valkyrie attack phase and if you actually activate Cho Utahime mode. <laughs> so if you get Utahime mode, I'm so sorry, this life skill does not activate at all. So it makes it even worse of a double edged sword as a life skill. Uh, this probably gives you a more towards a 25% chance to get that super high score you can achieve with this life skill because if you do not activate Cho Utahime mode, plus if you break your combo, this life skill really sucks to the core. <laughs> but if you successfully do it with the best combo you can attain, wow, that is one new high score you're gonna look at. So is Milane's episode plate a top tiering plate? I would not say so, because it had because of its total score. Uh, it is currently in its mid-tier range, just like Basara's episode plate. But let's take a look at the final page to see whether it is actually better than Basara's plate. So, oof! Uh, no special notes attached to it, so it is on par to Basara's episode plate in terms of tiering. So, do you want to actually spend more money to get this episode plate? I would say probably yes. If you have not gotten an episode plate of this element with that life skill, definitely you will want to invest some of your singing stones that you probably have been saving up or maybe even your own pocket money if you can purchase singing stones from the singing stone store. Try to get this episode plate, improve your collection for the pink or love element episode plates within your collection itself. And of course, the most important thing of all, unlocking Milane's brand new Christmas costume. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at our chances this time round with just that 300 singing stone discounted pool because that's all I have 
apparently. <laughs> so let's do this, guys. Hopefully, I do get a chance to at least use the episode orbs to unlock Milane's costume. Um, Basara's costume is almost unlocked thanks to the event plates. So yeah. One. Uh oh. I didn't see any loading at the beginning though, so this is not a good sign. Ooh, we do get two red boxes at the first blink. Ooh, we get a rainbow! Oh, that's really, really uh, wonderful. Even though it might not be the featured plate, but you know, to get a 5 star episode plate is a blessing in itself. Alright, so the first red box did not evolve. That's all okay. You know, getting secret bots unlocked is pretty nice too. Alright, skipping all the common stuff. Here we go, the second red box. No evolution on it as well. Okay. And here we go! Aha! <laughs> I knew it wouldn't be Milane's plate because I think I was right. I didn't see any loading at the beginning of the gacha pool. So if we do get a rainbow box, it's definitely guaranteed to be an old episode plate that I've already attained before because the information has been downloaded before. That's why there was no loading at the start. So yeah, um, sadly to say, I don't have that notification to show me that I've unlocked Milane's costume with some of the points attained from those new episode plates, so that's kind of a bummer. Oh dear lord. <laughs> so that's it guys. What do you guys think about Milane's episode plate? Is it something you definitely want to attain for yourself? Are you a fan of Milane and Guvava? Uh, I am pretty much a fan of Milane and Guvava, sadly to say. My finances are a bit tight, I can't afford to do another pool right now. <laughs> but hopefully, um, you know, the gacha stays long enough until my payday and I might do it again for my own self. Uh, you know, at least to get one or two plates to have that costume point uh, to, you know, give me that notification so I can use my episode ops to unlock the costume itself. So yeah guys, uh, if, as usual, leave a like to this video if you appreciate all the content and let me know in the comments down below what you guys think on the plate and of course your own personal pool if you're willing to do so. And of course, share the day culture to all your friends out there and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Bye!